hello guys welcome back to another Android tutorial in this episode we are going to learn about how to integrate Facebook login with your Android application start a new Android studio project specify your application name here I name it as login test select empty activity click next and click finish okay now the project is created first you must have a Facebook account I hope you already have a Facebook account then you have to log in into developer.facebook.com with your Facebook username and password open your browser and go to developer.facebook.com here you have to you can create a new app so select this option called the create app uh, provide an application name here you have to provide your contact email and now you need to select a category here I am going to select category as education now click this option called create app ID okay now the app ID is generated here you can see your application ID you have to place this application ID in your Android application now go to the settings option from here you have to select this option called add platform select Android here you need to provide your application package name the name of the class in which you are going to place the login and here you have to provide some key hashes now go to your Android studio project open manifest folder open Android manifest.xml copy your application package name provide your application package name now you have to specify your class name here there is only one class that is the main activity now you need to provide some key hashes so for getting key hashes you have to use key tool developer key store and you have to use the open SSL if you do not have open SSL first you need to download open SSL so here I already have open SSL now go to the Java installation folder go to program files go to the Java installation folder open bin folder here is the key tool.exe copy this path now open command prompt now change the directory now you need to run some command so in this command you have to provide the key tool path you have to provide a debug key store and you need to provide the open SSL path so you can find this command on the description of this video so I copy this command and put it here now run it so here it asks for some password and you can provide Android as password and here is your hash keys now you need to copy this key now place the key here now change this one into yes single sign on into yes and finally save the changes and here select this option use this package name now you have to copy your application ID so here I copy this ID now open Android Studio project open resource folder open values folder open strings.xml and here I am going to add a new string resource 
specify the name as Facebook app ID now paste the application ID here now go to the documentation select Facebook login now select Android go to the quick start guide now we need to add some metadata contents and here it is so copy this statement so you need to place the metadata element within the application tag so go to the manifest folder manifest file and paste it here within the application tag so here the Facebook app ID it get it from the strings.xml file now here you have to provide the internet permission so users permission internet now we need to add some dependencies so the first thing we have to download Android SDK into our Android application for that you need to add some repositories and dependency so copy this repository now open your Gradle script file open module level Gradle script file and paste it before dependencies now we need to add some dependency uh, copy this statement and add it in the dependency section now here you need to provide the most recent version of Facebook SDK now make a project sync okay now the project sync finishes successfully now go to activity main.xml now we can place the Facebook login button go to the XML file now here I'm going to place the Facebook login button specify the layout width and height specify the width into wrap content now specify the layout height that is also wrap content now specify an ID for the button I name it as FB login ID change into FB login button now align this one to the center in parent now for display the login status here I am going to add some text to view specify the width into match parent height into wrap content specify some margin at the top into 50 dp now specify some text on it login status now specify an ID for it I name it as text view now specify the gravity into center now put some style for the text text style into bold okay now the layout is ready here is the Facebook login button and here is a text view that display the login status now go to main activity dot java here first you need to declare some variables first one is the login button variable I name it as login button now we need some variables for text view now now we need some variables for callback manager I name it as callback manager 
Now we can initialize these variables. First here I'm going to initialize the login button. Type cast that one into login button. Now find it. Now initialize the text to view. Now find it. So the first thing we have to initialize the Facebook SDK. For that here you need to call a class called Facebook SDK and call the method called SDK initialize and pass the context. And make sure that you have to place this statement before set content view method. Now we can initialize the callback manager. Okay, now we can set the callback manager callback for the button. So login button dot register callback first pass the callback manager. Now there is an anonymous inner class called Facebook callback. So here we got three methods called on success, on cancel and on error. If the login is success, this method will invoke and if the user cancel the login this method will invoke and if there is an error happens this method will invoke. So when user click the login button it will open another activity. In that activity the user enter the Facebook credentials. So the activity will return the result into the on activity result method. So here you need to override one more method called on activity result method. So from this method, you need to pass the result into the callback manager. So you have to call the on activity result in the context of callback manager. So you have to pass the request code, result code and finally data. Now we can display the login status. So if the user click the, if the user cancel the login, this method will invoke. In that case, we can display some message. Uh, login cancelled. And if the login success, Uh, login success. Now we can display the login ID. So login result dot get access token dot get user ID. This will display the Facebook user ID. Now we can display the login token. So add a new line. Login result dot get access token dot get token. Okay, now the application is ready. Now we can test it. So before going to test the application, we have to add something on the developer.facebook website. So go to the application, open your application and go to the app review section and you have to turn this one into yes and confirm it. So now the application available for public. Now you can test your application. can test our Android application. Here is our Android application. Login test. Open it. Now try to login with Facebook. Click the login button. 
uh, this will start another activity so now I'm going to cancel the login so I click the bike button so now the login status is login cancelled now try to login again now click continue now here the login is success and here is the Facebook ID and here is the login token so this is how we place a Facebook login with your Android application so after successful login you can see now the button is changed into logout I hope you understand the concepts thank you for watching see you in the next episode